by the end of this video you'll have something that looks like this so let's get started short uh, video I'm gonna show you how to jump in ghetto so let's get straight to the video before you do anything let's go ahead and go to your player and make sure that you added a jump animation so how to do that i showed you in the previous video so we have our idle and run i also have a jump you just click on this little button here and you find you double click and you say jump and then it says jump on automatically set now go to your sprites characters and find the jump and jump starts from here and ends from here just drag and drop it and let's remove because i don't want so we have our animations ready this is how you do that so let's go change this to the idle uh, part and then let's save and we got yourself a jump animation now let, let's go and look at the code so we have to do a lot of stuff to start coding we need two variables uh, one is jump speed and another one is whether we are jumped or not so let's go ahead and write the, them uh, Today I cannot write so jump speed and I can just say jump speed in a normal fashion no problem is jumped to and in the ready we want to use the ready function so we want to make sure that whenever we are ready we want to make sure that we can jump that's the reason we say function underscore ready and I say is jumped to true Right. now we need to create a new function called handle jumping so let's go create one so function handle jumping because we want to make sure that as uh, little as possible so we want to reuse this code and we want to know what the heck that code does so that's why the functions are really really important and really really useful so it will not any do anything so the void parameter can be really really useful we'll say pass and now let us think of the logic. When we hit the up arrow, and we, uh, when and when the is jumped is true, we we want to jump because I want to jump only once. If you don't use the is jumped, uh, it will jump like couple um, infinite times. So how many uh, how much you press the is uh, up key, it will keep on jumping. So. To do that let's write if input dot is action just pressed because i want to make sure we press it only once you underscore up and we can we know that we can jump then we want to make sure we jump so how to jump we use the motion at y and we minus equals to the jump speed now i want to i want to explain a little bit here why because when up and down uh, minus equal because uh, in game development y axis is re reversed so when we go up it's minusing and when we go down it's plusing why because uh, think of it like a gravity the more the gravity is the, the more it will fall down the less the gravity is the more it will go up so this is the basic logic because we of vectors and how game development uses vectors so a good uh, Good understanding of how the vectors were how vectors work is really really recommended And we want to reset because if we don't do that, there's no point of is jumping variable Sorry, it's jumped to false because uh, we, When we jump we, we want to make sure we jump <clears throat> only once and we, we want to jump and then we s stop the jumping we <clears throat> We said is jumped to false, so we cannot jump until until we are on the floor. Now this comp this simple logic has a lot of stuff in it. So let's go in here. Isn't for returns true if the body is on the floor only updates calling move and slide. So make sure you call move and slide, not any other uh, methods like move and collide. Make sure you do that. So. It should now work now we need to call the jump animation how to call the jump animation we run here we run a motion that y is less than zero so we are in air motion that y less than zero it means the y is minus one it 
the minimum value of y will be minus 1. So as I said, go up, it's minusing. So we are in the air. We want to make sure we call the animated sprite play. We call the jump. And we have completed the jumping code. And it has a problem. Okay, I didn't call this. Okay, see, we need to call the uh, handle. Uh, no handle animation. It's handle jumping. And let's go ahead and put that thing here, and save and run. And still not working because I didn't set the jump speed. So let's go ahead and say eight hundred. Hopefully now, please. It's so much less. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up this. And we got yourself a jumping. Make it much more bigger. At least you need to use 2000 force. Let's jump. There you go. You can change however you want, but it's, it's so smooth, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.